Well, here we are, we're at Bagara, a little bit north of our factory. Well, that's one of my favorite places. So 500 meters to my left is where I grew up. My beach house, my family had was here at Bagara Beach. Another 500 meters this side is the local caravan park where I also used to meet with my cousins every year. So they'd come there, have all the Christmas holidays there. I had most of my New Year's Eve celebrations down here. So this is a really important part of the world for me. It's something that really got me into caravanning, camping and all those things. It was just getting together with family and we're going towards Easter now. So I encourage you with your family, if you're out there making these experiences at Easter, they're really good to do because I remember right through my younger ages of all of us getting together. So it's important we do those things and have great memories and the zone behind me helps me do those things. So one of the cool things we're going to do on this trip is take you up to my favourite spot. So one of the biggest ones and the highest one in our region is the Hummock. Now it's an extinct volcano. So if you look along the shoreline here, you've got all the rocks that actually spewed out from it. And all the countryside that you see around the Hummock is really volcanic rich soil. So Bundaberg is now known as the sweet potato capital of Australia. So when I grew up, sugar was king, but now sweet potatoes have taken over. You'll see nut trees and all sorts of things. So I love the contrast. When you look out at the humming, you just see amazing different colors. And for me, it's really special. It's not far from the ocean. So it's a great place to raise your kids. It's a great place to come and visit. So once we leave the hummock, next stop along the way will be the Bundy Rum factory. Now, Bundy Rum comes from sugar. It's a real passion of mine, the sugar industry. So one of the best byproducts that came out of sugar was the molasses. From the molasses, they made Bundaberg rum. So Bundy rum is a favorite of ours. And uh, being from Bundy, always been really proud to see what Bundaberg rum's done across the country and the world. So we're going to stop in there and have a look around. They do great tours. It's a great place that you can go behind the scenes and see really the whole way they produce it, send it across the country and across the world. So I'm looking forward to that. After we leave there, then we're going to head over to something that's really special to me, and that's the, a Ferrymead house. Now, Ferrymead house shows a lot of the iconic families and people that have made major contributions in, in our city of Bundaberg. And one of the things that uh, I'm proud of is my family's heritage. So there's a room there dedicated to my grandfather and my uncle. They started a business called Toff Brothers, which then became Oztoff and now is bought by Case IH. So that's a lot of my heritage and a lot of my background where I got to travel the world, see lots of things, grew up in a family where I had the opportunity to be in a family that always invented things. My grandfather was the inventor of the mechanical cane harvester, and then they took that product to the world. So part of what I do at Zone today really comes a lot from my family and from what I've been taught, what I've seen, the privilege that I had to go behind the scenes, to travel, be in meetings and see a lot of stuff through my dad's eyes has really shaped the person I am and why I'm involved at Sone and how I came into manufacturing and I'm passionate about Australian manufacturing so I just want to give you a bit of a background on that. And there's other great families that have done things in the region and they're all on display there so I encourage you when you come to the region go and check out Ferry Mead House it's run by volunteers but it's a really cool thing to have a look at and I'm very proud obviously of what our family and the Australian sugar industry has done. And then after that, we're going to actually go and show you a cane harvest operating. Now, they don't normally operate this time of year other than cutting sugarcane plants so they can get next year's crop ready to roll. So one of my best friends is doing that right now and he's in a TOF machine. So we're going to go out and have a look at that. Again, I just wanted to show you that gives you a bit more of an idea of our heritage and where we've come from. All right, well, here we are at uh, actually where I grew up in Alloway, and this is one of my best friends, Dean Cayley. So Dean's here cutting some plants for Bundaberg Sugar. So, hey, mate, thanks for letting us come and taking a few shots of the cells cutting and hanging out here. So no appreciate worries. that, mate. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been good to catch up with you. Yeah, so I'm going to Bundy Rum. I'm going to go to Ferrymead House, show everyone a bit around there about the Toft heritage. And yep. it's awesome that you're driving a Toft, so yep. Uh, yep. good to see that. 
really good to you know have the opportunity to come back and just watch a bit of harvesting um I was going to say, because, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, well, as I said, your family name's been in the industry for a long time. Well, they virtually uh, invented their first mechanical harvester, so it's uh, good to see it's still, well, the same design is still running to this day. Yeah, it's amazing like that, eh? And that's sort of what I, this whole video that we're doing is just a bit of showing the customers that our heritage was obviously in mechanical yeah. cane harvesters, but we're drip bringing it across to the caravans, and I love that. You know, I've driven your machine. It's a great machine. And what was that, a 90... 94 model. So 94. 30, 30 years old for this Cause, year. Because what Dean's doing here is cutting plants, so you don't need the latest and greatest. But it's so good to just see that machine still cutting cane. Yeah. It was uh, built well, obviously, and still rolling. So, no, mate, really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it was built the same factory you guys, you know, sort of grew up in. So it's been, uh, it's been good. And um, it's still, the factory still exists today. They still make spare parts of the machine at the factory today. Yeah, Which it's unreal, and I've had the opportunity to go to Brazil and see the uh, way that TOFs went. Now it's in Brazil, and you know, we're lucky enough there's still some cane around here. You've got macadamias. We've been to the rum factory, which is great. Yep. Uh, we went out and saw the cedars, you know, some really nice country. And so if anyone's on tour, a great region of Bundaberg and the Wide Bay area. I mean, you've stayed here your whole life, yep. but, I mean, you've travelled a lot too, and your family did a lot in caravans, so... Oh, yeah, exactly. We, my mum and dad still travel to this day in caravans. I, I think dad's been around Australia about three times now. Well, he's probably, he wants to do a fourth trip, so it's uh, he's probably done about three or 400,000 k's around the, around Australia. Yeah. And I don't think he has seen it all yet. He's, there's still more to see. Nah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it is. It's it's uh, it's fairly close to Brisbane. Yeah, it's only a four-hour drive or an hour plane flight, so it's it's uh, not a free out in the middle of nowhere. Nah, it's um, a good region. Yeah. It's a great place. I loved growing up here. This is very... Um, yeah, a great familiar place for me. So I always love, and I still call it home. So it's yeah. good to uh, always come back and catch up. So thanks, mate. Hey, no like, worries. really appreciate yep. it, Dino. Right. Cheers, Abe. Now we're going to head out then for the night to Splitters Creek Farm. And that's a really cool stop. So I don't mind getting away from everything, just having a bit of time out from work. So one of the things I'm gonna do, Splitters Creek's really nice, bit of a farm stay. There's animals, there's ducks, there's geese, there's llamas, you name it, they've got them. But it's a really nice facility. Um, so if you wanna bring your family there and enjoy it, go for it. I'm just really looking forward to myself and Elisa. Elisa works online. Obviously I've got a lot going on at Zone at the moment. So it just gives us an opportunity. Sit back in the, the day, we can get reception as far as we can work do a few emails and things like that, but then relax. Well guys, that's a wrap. We've done a couple of days up here in the Bundaberg Bagara area. We've seen from the bush to the beach. It's always nice to come home and explore. There's lots of iconic spots that we've shown you. Probably my rum factory is one of my favourites and we were there at Christmas time actually. I took my kids and we had a look through. We went and did the turtles, which unfortunately aren't running at the moment, but there's heaps to do in everyone's backyards in Australia is what we've found as we've travelled. So I hope you and your family get out there. I hope you have some of these great experiences as well. One of the greatest things that we have and we inspire people hopefully is to get out in a zone of your own and enjoy it. <music>